Hey guys, I'm Tom Roy, and I've been skating for over 20 years. I'm here to give you all the details that you need to know to learn tricks as fast and efficiently as possible. And of course, make it fun in the process. Every trick has that one tip that you should never forget. Once you know what that is, it's in the bag. Let's get into it. Welcome back guys. Last week, I taught you guys how to frontside flip. This week, we're learning backside flips. Shall we? Let's start off with the foot position. For the back foot, you wanna actually have it a little bit more on this edge of the tail, but not as far back as I taught for frontside flips. I like to have it a little bit more onto the tail. The more in the center of the tail you have your toe, the more you're gonna pop. So you have to adjust a little bit as needed. If it works better for you to have it more in the center and pop higher, then do it. But for me, I get a little too much pop that way. So it helps me to shift it a little bit toward that edge of the tail. And for the front foot, for this trick, you actually put your front foot further up on the board than you would for a kickflip, just slightly. So for a kickflip, I'd probably have my foot back like this, but for backside flips, I like to shift it up a little bit more. It really helps with the flick. The reason your foot's far up on your board is because you want to flick fast and quick off that edge. If your foot's too far back, it's going to take too long for it to get to that edge of your board that it flicks off of. I like to have my front toes just barely over those front bolts. And you want to be sure that you're standing up on your back toes. Don't keep your foot flat. Put all that weight down on the ball of your foot, right down on those toes. Even though most of your weight is on your back foot, you still want to make sure you're putting weight down on the ball of your front foot as well. So it's better to go straight or even a little bit at this angle, because if you go at this angle before you pop, it's gonna affect your flick. It's gonna be a lot harder to flick and grip your board. So by curving in this way just a little bit, it'll help you to lean over your knees and over that toe side of your board. By doing so, it enables you to not jump too far ahead of your board. It helps you push your board out in front of you. And your shoulders make a huge difference in this trick. Right before you pop, you wanna make sure you're twisting and winding up. That's what's gonna give you the rotation. So bend down, twist, and as you're twisted like this, then pop. That's what's gonna help your body turn. A really good tip to hang on to is to just focus on turning 90 degrees and catching your board right at 90. Because when you do that, your body just naturally continues the rotation and does the full 180. It's really easy on backside flips to lean too far forward and jump ahead of your board. So it's really important to make sure you let your board get out ahead of you. You want your weight to be pressing down on the heel side of your board, but your body to be leaning over the toe side, over your knees. With front side flips, I mentioned flicking way out to the side, but with backside flips, it really helps to not flick as hard as you think you have to. At least for me, I'm a person who has long legs, I'm tall, so it really helps me to flick a little bit lighter. That's what really helped me learn backside flips was when I realized that. If you have shorter legs, it might be easier to flick harder, so it depends on your body shape. But for me, it really helps to just give it a lighter flick than with frontside flips. Here's what it looks like when I flick too hard. And here's what it looks like when I give it a lighter flick. Now, if you want your backside flips looking legit, make sure you catch it with your back foot. So your front foot's out here. Now, if you are just learning and it's your first time doing backside flips and catch it with both feet, that's cool, you know? But if you want to perfect it and get it looking proper, catch it with that back foot. And for this trick, if you're skating on some smooth ground, it actually works to revert it a little bit, like to power slide the last bit of the rotation. So depending on the ground that you're skating on, you can do that. It's a good way to learn them. And you know, you have to be a little bit comfortable with getting that revert in. Otherwise, if you're on a little bit more grippy ground, it's better to rotate it all the way in the air. All right, guys, thank you for watching another tutorial. That's all I got for backside flips. So let's do a few. Before you go, here are your key takeaways. Put your back foot on that toe side edge of your tail. Put your front foot far up on your board, further than a kickflip. Stand up on your back toes. Twist your shoulders before you pop. 
Put your weight down on the heel side of your board while you lean over the toe side. And lastly, flick light and quick. See you in the next tutorial. You!